see me popping, I'm a blossom. I don't need a bottom on to my robbery. I'm official on a dotty. You can hit a room room in my robbery. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't need it this far. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Two braids, donuts. I have some coffee today. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? finished taking care of some business Let's see if I can make it across this busy road can cuz I know how to do it do okay so uh <laughs> um your girl is outside today for real no for real I'm outside today all right cuz y'all know I'm home okay I'm I'm home a lot uh but Gotta have balance. As much as I love to be home, I also like to get out. Okay, okay, that's more like it. Mm -hmm. So I have a few stops that I want, want, <laughs> that I want to make today. But I'm going to the cleaners right now because I dropped off some pieces on Saturday and they're ready well I didn't get a text but the receipt said today well yesterday I was supposed to pick it up before 5 so I'm gonna go get it today because yesterday I was home all day all day yesterday I was home and yeah Brian got off of work late so I'm gonna pick up some things from the cleaners um, had to drop Brian's suit off as well because we have his uncle's funeral that we're going to uh... all of our pieces weren't ready mostly my tops well just my tops now I'm going to eat a donut and then I'm going to go to uh, TJ Maxx because I want to see what kind of jewelry they have y'all. So a few days ago I went to TJ Maxx and I found these little coach earrings. Y'all can't really tell this to see but I found some coach earrings and I love earrings like these. They're like small, dainty and then I found this bracelet too. I thought it was so cute. It's reversible as well. So you can wear it like that. Ah, I thought that was so cute. I dropped Graham off this morning to the groomers. Y'all, I've been on the move, okay? I feel great today. While I eat my donut and make my way to TJ Maxx, I wanted to talk about my journey of self-development so far with you guys. So as I continue to invest that time and effort into nurturing myself, some things are becoming more noticeable to me as far as the richness and the depth this journey has added to my life. And I'm not even referring to um, external things like what I may have or how I look because I believe that you can be the most beautiful person in the world, but if your attitude and your actions are ugly, then well, that changes everything. <laughs> so I'm referring to my mindset, my attitude, um, the good habits that I am creating and how I treat myself, how I talk to myself as well as others. Um, I believe that true self-worth comes from within. And because I now recognize and appreciate my own value, I feel like I've gained, well, I have gained a deeper sense of confidence and fulfillment. This is not 
for content. This is like my real life, a real journey that I am on. I'm just happy that I've been able to share some of it with you guys. So like this is the real deal. This is not just for content, real improvement, real growth. And I'm excited that I have the opportunity to actually share it with the world. That's crazy. It's taken me so much work to like realize healing is something else. I'm so grateful for um, my busy blooming journey because I feel like my value has even gone up. even though I've been worthy, it's like, I'm even more worthy. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not, not even trying to be like, okay, not fooling me today. We're going into TJ Maxx. <laughs> so like one of those people, like we're going into TJ Maxx and we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully I can find something. Oh, the other day I came, I uh, found some slacks they were so nice they were green but i would really prefer black but if they're still in here if i can find them i'm gonna get them because i need to stop buying black anyway like the green i i fall in love with green y'all i can see myself becoming a maxinista um <laughs> I just might be in TJ Maxx every week trying to see what I could find to bring home with me. I have shopped at TJ Maxx several times, but now I feel like I've been sleeping on the Max. So I also found some more pieces than this. I actually ended up going to the fitting room two times. Um, I've also been looking for a nice teacup. Um, one preferably without the floral designs or animals all over it. Um, you know, just something simple, plain. Um, the pair that I did purchase from the Target dollar spot was a bit too small for me. So I'm on the lookout for some nice teacups because y'all know that I love tea. And I want to sip out of a nice tea cup. If you guys have any suggestions on where I can find some nice tea cups, leave them down below, okay? Thank you. I don't think I've ever found this much stuff in TJ Maxx. I was in there for... I'm ashamed to say how long I was in there. <laughs> mm, well, I just finished choking on my own spit. <laughs> um, I'm at the plant nursery. One of my favorite. <coughs> Do I have the hiccup? <clears throat> like I was saying, one of my favorite places, especially in the springtime. You know, we haven't been here in a while, of course, because of the season. But now we're back. <laughs> I want to get a plant, but I don't know what kind. I didn't. Um, am I covering? I'm always concerned that I'm covering the mic, but. Um, I didn't look at, I didn't look at any plants that I may want, so I'm just going to be rolling around the plant nursery to see what I can find. It's so, I feel so good being out here. These are so beautiful. I low-key would really love a room full of plants. Just all kinds of plants blooming around me is what I really would like but we're gonna keep it small for now okay <laughs> i know that i'll be making several trips back to the plant nursery during the spring summer seasons sometimes i might not even purchase a plant just walking around this environment is so peaceful and refreshing to me
Hello. Hi. Coffee plants. I can walk around here all day just listening to the birds chirping and letting the sun hit my face. <laughs> I got this point right here. It's a piece of lily. I was looking for some sunflowers, but the way that the squirrels are set up around in our neighborhood, we have rabbits too. Um, yeah. Because mm -mm. y'all know the last time I was trying to grow my sunflower. Um, well, it wasn't the squirrels that were messing with my sunflowers. It was like some little nets or I don't know what they were. But uh, one of you guys did tell me that I should get some mothballs. So later on in the season, I may actually do that. But hopefully I can keep this plant alive. Uh, Y'all know I've had several plants. Um, some of them make it and some of them don't. I'm still learning, okay? <laughs> I'm still learning how to care for plants. But at least I'm trying. Look at the ladybug crawling on my plant. Can y'all see it? <laughs> and the yo business that control your feelings. Y'all want another car jam? Okay, I got y'all. Ladies, drama, leave it home. No more. The girl that they used to know. Done changed. My name. Told y'all I was gonna fuck like this. They wanna know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Ashy to try for me. Brandon D. Oh, she's a ghost dick. Way over time. That dick on me. Why you wanna go and do that, love? Hey, and why you wanna go and do that and do that? Hey, and why you wanna go and do that? That, that. What's love? Uh, 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 got to do everything I am. Just because I have to make it happen, they never When I say that I can have a whole party all by myself, like I'm a whole vibe all by myself. I mean that. <laughs> so I don't listen to a lot of the new music that's out there. I mostly listen to 90s and early 2000s. So if y'all were riding in the car with me, if I were riding in the car with you guys, um, would you let me hook my Bluetooth up to your vehicle or aux cord? Would you give me, the, can I be the DJ? <laughs> Anyway, later on that evening, Brad and I picked up Graham from the Groomers. Um, he's so cute and clean with his big, long, fluffy ears. So this is some footage that I recorded and I was going to trash it, but I told myself to stop uh, throwing away footage. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Okay. So I needed to moisturize my locks. If you guys are new here, I installed my locks by myself. These are DIY micro locks um, and I've had them for two years. So all I use is water and in the white bottle, all I put in there is my conditioner along with the MCT oil. That is the only oil that I use on my hair and I shake it up real nicely and I just spray it all over my hair. I make sure that I moisturize the entire lock. I make sure I moisturize my ends because my locks can get dry they can get really dry so i make sure that i moisturize them really well and right after i finished moisturizing my locks i decided to do some more self-care and i did myself a pedicure and a manicure i did not get to record myself doing the what is it the manicure but just a little of my pedicure i did get to record and i also used my new polish that i showed you guys in a previous video from amazon and i actually do like the polish so i will be ordering more colors <laughs> Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and that she could believe all the little lies. It takes of it. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Making the play, being the play. She is on a roll. Never seen it like this. Didn't think it. So right now I'm going to do a manicure and a pedicure. I just pulled this out so that I can do my pedicure. So I have this exfoliating foot mask. I don't know where I got that from. I think this came in a gift set. And I think I picked this up from Dollar Tree, another um, like foot scrub. I use this on my heels as well. And um, some nights I'll use this in the shower just to make sure that my feet stay soft, uh, especially the bottom. I'll use this on my manicure as well, my hands. I'm a vitamin E beauty oil this came from dollar tree and i picked this up from what is this marshall's yeah marshall's and this is a exfoliating mask i think i have two more in here so i'm going to use one and then i have this as well so that's all that i pretty much use as far as like uh products and then of course i use certain tools nail clipper and um, a nail file and yeah I like to do my pedicure first to get out the way because it takes the most work to me in my opinion so I have my thing right here and my book so I'm just gonna sit this stuff I think I need to put a towel right here just in case oh I know the floor is gonna get wet so let me get a towel <laughs> Thank you. 
right now I came in here for Brian but they didn't have what I came in here for for him so um, I wanted to look for something else a jewelry holder for my bracelets and stuff Let's see what they have uh, <clears throat> see any jewelry stuff well this is cute $6.99, not bad, but I'd rather something else. <laughs> something that looks a little more sturdy. Or is a little more sturdy. Look at this. You know what? I think I'm on the wrong side of the store. I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be where the jewelry is. I assume that's where those things will be. <coughs> Excuse me. Mmm. Smells good. This is a room spray. Smells really nice. It's the only one I see. Let's go. It is so messy over here. This stuff is everywhere. And I don't see what I'm looking for. Wait, where is the jewelry? Oh, it's okay. Okay, I don't see what I'm looking for, but these are cute. These are really nice. Clear storage, stackable organizers. This is big. That's how much this is. $24.99. <laughs> And what I mean by let's get out of here is let's go to another section of the store apparently. So I saw these shoes and I had to try them on. Did I get them? No, I didn't. But I'm contemplating on going back. And hopefully, hopefully they're there because once I got home, I was like, man, I should have got those. They were really cute. <laughs> I want to show y'all the books that I got from Amazon. The other books that I purchased from a book outlet aren't here yet. I believe they just left the warehouse yesterday. So um, I probably won't get them till next week. So you guys know we as introverts, if you're introverted out there, it takes us time for us to open up to people. We don't talk to everybody. We're very selective. So I mentioned to Brian how much I um, love the people that um how much i love the people that took the time out to get to know me i don't have any friends so yeah i know i said i had one good friend yeah we're no longer friends <laughs> but anyway um i just appreciate those people that aren't a family that that took the time out to get to know me know my personality they know how to talk to me they like those people that respect my boundaries I'm also grateful for those people that's what I said I think I said yeah because I was telling Brian how grateful I am for those people that um look past like their assumptions and actually took the time out to get to know me especially as an introvert because you're not going to get everything out of me at once. I'm going to really test your patience when it comes to me. And it's not like, it's not, I'm not doing it intentionally. It's just, it's just the way that I move. If you're an introvert, then you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. But anyway, 
these are the books that I purchased from Amazon and I'm excited to read these. Um, I started the other book. Where is it? I started this book already. Allegedly, I heard a lot of good things about this book. I'm going to link this book in my Amazon cart as well for y'all. So I have a list of books that I've read on there. Um, this one right here. I heard that this one was kind of sad, like it might make me cry, and I'm a cry baby, so I might actually cry. And this one is Mondays Not Coming, and um, this one is by Tiffany Jackson, as well as this one. This is her. She's a black author as well. So I'm excited to read Miss Tiffany Jackson's novel. And um, I'm so excited to read this one. Hold on. I am so excited to read this one. You got to read this one and then read this one because um, this novel, um, This Could Be Us, is um, mostly about Soledad. And if you read this one, do you know that Soledad, she was one of the friends to uh, the main character in here, Yasmin. Yasmin. So... Um, I'm excited to read this book. I love, I love Kennedy Ryan's, um, novels. Her writing keeps you intrigued. Like you wouldn't, you don't want to put the book down. So yeah, read this one first. <laughs> okay. And then read this one. And I believe I have this one already linked in my Amazon cart, but I'll link the other, the other ones for you. She's a book girly. <laughs> I went to Sephora. I and Target. But I went to Sephora because I wanted to try a red lipstick. I have tried so many red lipsticks, glosses, matte lip, lip stains, <laughs> everything. And I have not yet to find a red that looks good on me for some reason. Or maybe I'm just not used to it and I need to get used to it. But I've never worn red on my lips before. You know what? One time I did and I was like, that was in my early 20s. I was like 21 or something. And I only wore it once, but I really liked that one. And I don't know, I don't know what I did with it. That was over 10 years ago. So I purchased this, I searched on TikTok. I always dig, dig, dig. And oh, I forgot, this one is uh, always red. I'm trying to be a good content creator. <laughs> number is zero one, number one. And I really want a red lip. I think I'll look good with a red lip. So let's try it out. Mix um, lip pencil in espresso. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to line my lips. I usually don't like to line my lips because I already feel like they're lined naturally, but I'm going to add just a little bit. You can't really see. Oh, hold on. Um, did I overline them? Let's just put some of this on. Please look good. I can't, I can't see y'all. I was trying to do this with y'all, but I need a mirror. Hold on. Okay, y'all. What do y'all think? Do y'all like it? I think I like it already. Usually, it would probably have to grow on me, but... Again, this is the Sephora Lip Stain in Always Red. I like this. I actually like this. So I finally found a red lip that I can wear. I brought another lip item and I got this from Target from the lip bar. And this is the color BFF. It's a nourishing lipstick. I brought this pencil as well. And this is, um,
the glow getter. I don't know. I thought I thought maybe they match. So let's take off this red. I'm trying to open this thing. We'll see. Let's keep going. This packaging is so nice. Mm, um, this one's gonna have to grow on me. Um, <laughs> maybe I need another liner. I actually think I like this. It looks good on my lips. It is cute. <laughs> I actually just woke up. We made it to Pensacola. I ended up sleeping the whole two hours and 30 minutes there while Brian sung his heart out. So did I really get rest? No, I just shut my eyes for two hours and 30 minutes. How was your ride? What's up, y'all? On the way to the funeral. My uncle, you know, celebrate the life. Um, at least we won't be late. Well, late as we, we have seven minutes. It starts at one. It starts at one, so we're not late. We're like wow. down the street, but um, I got to see my nephew. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to see him because he was supposed to be. Well, he still is going with his dad, but he's gonna go a little bit later today. So I was able to see him. Cause I was really, I was really sad about it. He was a little clingy to me this time though. I know, he used to be a little scared of Brian. Now he reaches for Brian, he wants Brian to pick him up. He went to leave Brian alone for him to get dressed, so. That's his Uncle Brian. Just vibing y'all, so <laughs> we'll make it happen for that. <laughs> I'll pick up the camera when we do something. I need to get something to eat. Brian already had something to eat. She didn't want anything. I cannot eat anything. I, I didn't want anything because if I do, then, um. You got a boo -boo. No. <laughs> uh, I will get um, full, then I wouldn't want to Don't go. nobody want no funeral. That's the same me every time. Chicken, green beans, and baby mashed potatoes. What, at the funeral? My godmother is the owner of the funeral home that they're using, so. Come on, Bobby Boucher. We got to go. Oh, there they go. Green light. We're at Zaxby's getting something to eat. We'll be leaving later on today. It's, it's 4.35 in the afternoon. And, oh, we have to go back to my mom's house. She asked Brian if he could hang up some pictures and um, put some put some air in her uh, tires for her bike. I'm getting the uh, the shrimp. You guys know Zaxby's has a uh, shrimp now. And I've had the meal, I had, I've had it already, but they give you like, I think like five pieces of shrimp <laughs> and uh, some toast with some fries. And I told Brian that five pieces of shrimp is not enough to plane. So our plane going over. Uh, but yeah, but five pieces of shrimp is not enough for me at all. Nothing but a teaser. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to leave a sunflower down below so that I know that you made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time, my people, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.